I put this question to you that came through. Um, uh, you know, something that's been in the news this week about uh, uh, your office's decision to have a, a single uh, ballot drop box location sure. for yeah. county. Um, one of our audience members says, well, how does that make sense when you have Cuyahoga County with almost a million registered votes, uh, voters and Vinton County, which about which has about 8,000 registered voters? Um, is there some uh, equal protection issue here? And so is it this trade-off that you're that is in your mind um, as you're making that decision? Well, first of all, it's the, the basic idea that you can be for a public policy and, and also for rule of law, right? So I've long said that we should work with the state legislature to expand the use of drop boxes in Ohio, but those kind of decisions should be made at the state house, not the courthouse, right? And there's also a principle uh, that goes back to a, a, a case in 2006 called the, the Purcell case that you just shouldn't be making last minute changes as it relates to elections. That kind of thing sows uncertainty. It, it actually can create a pre pretext for future lawsuits that are meant to sort of after the election call in to question the results of the election. So what the law says in Ohio and what I've been very clear about is that absentee ballots are returned in one of three ways. Uh, the vast majority of voters return them by mail. That was the case in 2012. We ran a fair election in 2012. That was the case in 2008. We ran a fair election then, 2016. And so the vast majority of voters return their absentee ballots by mail, and that's the, the, the main way of doing it. But in Ohio, the law says that you may also personally deliver it to the director of the Board of Elections. And then the law also says you may have a family member personally deliver it to the to the director of the Board of Elections. And those who drafted that that legislation from long ago, it actually ends with the words ballots may be transmitted through no other means. They actually restated it at the end of that code section. And so for me to just sort of say, hey, let's put them everywhere and see how it goes would be deeply irresponsible. And by the way, a last minute change in the way that we administer elections. We've already started early voting here in the state of Ohio for four days now. As you can see by the countdown clock behind me, 24 days and 15 hours until election day comes. The time for making those kind of changes has passed. And here's where it's a little bit disingenuous by some of those litigants. Where were you six months ago when we could have actually worked in the state legislature to get something done? Instead of filing an 11th hour lawsuit, why not let's work to get some actual changes made in the legislature? And I've already talked with our Senate president and our House speaker about doing just that next year.